Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the next instalment for Claire's weekly makeup basket thing. Um, so I have my basket here that we're going to have to change some things up this time. Um, because it's just not working out for me. Okay, let's take everything out. Okay, things that I know that are going back in. Why does this always get so dusty? Okay, so, okay, let's do this how I normally do it. So, primers first. Primers, I have the two Maybelline Baby Skins. This one is the uh, Instant Fatigue Eraser, and this one is the Instant Pore Eraser. Um, those can both go in, and the L uh, the OCC Lip Tart Primer thing that I still haven't used once. Foundations, then I have the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and the BB Cream. Concealers, I have the NYX Concealer and the Lord & Berry Concealer Pencil. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Brows, I have the brow thing. For my eyeshadow base, I'm still using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Pencil in Trick Eyeshadows. I'm going to put Trolls back in. At tro this is Paradisco by MAC from the Trolls collection. I'm putting that back in. Something I'm taking out is Sex Kitten by NYX. That's coming out. Um, the Vice 4 is staying in, but I'm taking out the other Hot Single by NYX in Pixie Fee. Okay, so I'm going to put in the Makeup Revolution Salvation Palette in Run by Run. Just looks like that. This colour here is giving me life. Can you see that? Actually, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Where is this here? Guys. Can you see that? Mm, okay, on camera it's less. From back here you can. Like, this top one... It's from the Naked Revolution palette that cost me six pounds. This bottom one is a dirty talk from the Naked Heat palette. Like, they're almost dead on dupes for each other. Like, up here, it's kind of, you can see the difference. One of them is more red and the other one's more bronze. Like, the um, Urban Decay one is more bronze and the top one is more red. But, I mean, from like back here and on the eyes you could like not tell any difference anyway that's not why we're here we're not here for that this one's going in um something else that's also going in is the mua palette in romantic efflorescence and the urban decay single in suspect okay bronzer surprise surprise Blush. I'm going to take out, take this out, and I'm going to put in the next one again. This one, the mosaic powder, which is no longer mosaic-like. Um, I'm going to put that one in. Highlighter. I'm going to have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in my liquid highlighter, and the NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic. Um, brow bone highlight is this. Okay, eyeliner. I'm going to trade out the Marcel eyeliner, which I know it only has a teeny bit left. But it's had a teeny bit left for like four weeks now. That's coming out. And I'm going to put in the Avon um, eye, Jewel Eyeliner in Romantic Eyes. And the mascara. This mascara, I'm probably going to... I don't know what to do with this mascara. Because I love this mascara. But it's... No, do you know what? I'm going to put it in one more week and then it's going in the empties because I reckon it's only got that much left in it. Um, and the lip liner, PS Love You lip liner is going in and the pumpkin lipstick is also going in. Um, and I have my setting powder and MAC Fix Plus and my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. 
And that's everything for this box. That box was much easier than the previous ones have been because I knew that I wanted certain things to go in there. And we did have that weird random interval where I decided to be the dupe queen and found like a, an okay average dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know that Jessica and I are really enjoying filming them and we both of us have managed to get amazing progress on some of our items because of it. In t for us, it's great, you know, in terms of enjoyment for you, let me know if you enjoy them. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye.